we have two hoses and the actual hydraulic arm itself here. Each of the hoses has the hydraulic end with a dust cap and these come loose so they're going to need to be tightened down so you're going to need two wrenches where you can torque it down and there's a crush washer in here a copper or a brass crush washer and those are going to need to be tightened down on both of these these all shipped with loose fittings and on this end there's a dust cap on this banjo bolt here and so the banjo bolt comes out and it has two of those washers those washers are going to actually go on each side so you're going to need to put those on each side and then screw it down here and torque it down good to where you can crush those washers. There's little caps here that need to come off. We're going to put both of these on and then tie it, tighten it down. Now, one other thing, it actually comes with this hanger here. So that's going to allow you to hang it when it's not in use. The other question is, do you install it with this direction, the fixed end towards the tractor or the uh, sliding hydraulic into the tractor and does it matter? The key thing is to make sure that if you're using the uh, traveling end at the tractor, your hoses need to be long enough that they can travel with the, uh, the full length. So I think that this banjo bolt could be confusing to some people who aren't familiar with these. These are also put on brake lines and that sort of thing. You're going to put one on each end and then we're going to screw this in here. And we'll adjust which direction these hoses go once we get everything sorted out. So I think I'm going to have the traveling end towards the tractor. So we're going to put these hoses coming off to the side to connect into my remote here. And then I have a three quarter inch ratchet. Nice and easy. Take the dust cover off of this one. Just unscrews off, it's plastic. Take my banjo bolt out. Move my washers to both sides. You wanna get those nice and tight so that it doesn't leak. <clears throat> okay. And as I mentioned on these others, I didn't have the exact size. So I've got two adjustable crescent wrenches here. And these are big enough I ought to be able to get a good tightening on both of them. Maybe the second one will go easier because I've already done it once. But. Maybe a vise would be helpful, but the old rock hard abs played the, the role there. Let's try the second one here. Just want to make sure I get these nice and tight. We've got all of maybe five minutes into the actual installation. 